Hello Wasteland! Yes, it's finally here, the painting challenge video. I've got 40 minutes to paint up this car in the colours that I, I rolled for in the last episode of Random Mystery Build Challenge Excitement, the video. Um, so the rules are fairly simple for this paint challenge. I'm only allowed to use two paintbrushes, so I've gone for these two. Uh, one of them's a Citadel layer paint, uh, paintbrush, and the other one's this sort of. It's it's a big paintbrush, but it's not too big, so so that should that should be all right. And paint-wise, now this this got me a little bit because in the original Goober Town video, um, the challenge is you're only allowed 16 paints, but. I, well, it's actually too many because, okay, so we're doing violet, right? So that's red, blue, and I happen to have this this uh, Games Workshop violet colour, so that's good. Um, so that's three already. And then you think, okay, so you need your actual shading, you know, lightening, darkening colours like black and white. So there you go, that's five. Um, I use yellow a lot when I work with red, so that's six. Um... You need your metallics, of course, so I've got my, you know, lead belcher, which is your, your Balkan metal, quite dark silver, Stormhost silver, which is your mithril silver, quite quite light, and then I use this Gehenna's gold, which is like a nice bronzy colour. Um, you've got your wash, because I use washes for everything, because it's liquid talent, and then I've finally got brown, and I've got beige, because, you know, you, you need those. So, yeah, out of 16, I'm only using 12, so... So yeah, I've, I've made that modification. I mean, if you think about it, if I take out the red, blue, and purple, and take out some of the more ancillary colours, like, you know, this silver and this gold, that's kind of what I use to paint my cars, more often than not. I mean, hell, you change the yellow with whatever the main colour of your car is, and and before you know it, you're, you're already, you, you've already got a paint challenge. So... So I don't know, it seemed like a bit much, so instead of 16 I've got 12, and that's that's going to be fun, that's going to make life more interesting for me. So, um, so yeah, so the best thing to do will be to just jump straight into this. Let's just get on with it, so let's begin. Okay, so as I was saying, this challenge is going to be a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit difficult, because I'm mixing all the paints as I go, because I don't have an out-of-the-box violet colour. Um, that said, I am going to be mixing, because, I mean, to make violet, it's red and blue, isn't it? It's like making purple, but you want a bit more blue than you want red. Or is it the other way around? Anyway, so, what I'm going to be going with is, if you can see it, it's this rather nice dark colour here. Now, it might look very red, but, uh, it's actually more, more purple than it is red, which is good. Um, I'll put a bit more blue in it just to make sure, because the last thing I want is a purple car. This is meant to be a violet challenge. So there we go, that's that's far better. Okay, so so we've got our well it's it's weird because it's not a cold colour violet, it's it's far warmer than that. But let's uh, let's begin painting. So the rough idea is we're gonna do large panels in this violet. And then, because my second secondary colour is like an orangey, reddy colour, we're going to do all the kind of energy areas, like the glowing heat sinks on, on weapons and all that. We're going to do those in that. Part of me wishes I picked a bigger brush now, but the other part of me is glad that I didn't, because then I wouldn't have a smaller brush later on. What I think we're going to try and do is just one thick, heavy application of this paint rather than, you know, watered down layers and all that. I mean, we'll leave the washes until about 20 minutes, just because I know washes need time to dry, but even then we won't be like overdoing it on the washes so if we do that then we won't we won't nearly have enough time Thank you. 
so yeah we're almost at the five minute mark and we haven't got any other colour down on the car yet just this violet the windows oh, I suppose I'll do those black maybe so now we have to think what's the next colour going to be um, ooh, oh this is not easy this is not an easy challenge um, let's go for well, let's go for that secondary colour, which is a reddy, orangey, messy, yucky colour. <laughs> it's the best way to describe it. Let's get that down. So it's red and yellow we're going to need for this. Yeah, it's more like a... Well, to you it looks like a radioactively bright orange, but to me it doesn't look that bright. So let's just splash that in. Because we, we're going to go for a little bit of a glow effect if we've got the time. So I'm not too worried about um, any overshoot, overshoot, no, over, paint over, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, we'll just edit this, just edit it all, we'll fix it all in post. Uh, other areas that can be done in this colour, let's, let's say there are some energy parts back here, I think that would be quite interesting, so maybe that's glowing and the inside of this bit's glowing. Uh, I don't think the pipes would be glowing. The engine certainly would. So let's just get those done. The giant engines that I dedicated a whole part of the video towards right at the start. And uh, these, maybe maybe they're just little glowing lights on there. Ooh, I don't want to mess it up. Okay, what about back here? That could be a little glowing energy part. I suppose I don't want to go too over the top with this, because then... It means I've got more touching up to do later. So like the front, I'm not too worried about that. Um, all right, let's go on to the next colour. I think what I might do, if I keep the black areas black, I could just do a dry brush of silver. Well, not a dry brush, but you know, like just just touch areas up in the silver. Okay, so, oh, whoa, there we go. It's so exciting. Oh, I didn't do the bloody wheel caps. Okay, all right, don't worry about it. I've got silver on me which is getting on the car don't worry about it it's still good let's uh let's just go along there areas back here all the mechanical looking bits they can get a bit of a silver because the nice thing is by doing this we're we're saving a little bit of time when it comes to the highlights because we're not going to have as much that we desperately need to cover in a, a lighter violet color uh, but let's go on to the next stage of violet so we need to make it lighter now so let's mix them up because I want to spend like five minutes at the very end just just like uh, how to describe it okay, i need to wash this brush because we're going to do some no no we're not going to do line work oh god oh god now i'm doubting myself no no we are going to do some line work with this color so we're going for the fine brush okay so what we're going to do if we do some lines that follow the damage almost Oh, this doesn't look very good. Okay. Yeah. paint it the entire thing look at it and just go oh it's rubbish chuck it in the bin and start again <laughs> but no that's that's okay all right so we want to do our glowing light effect again now so we're not going to use our nice layer brush which has just been through the ringer we want to use the other brush so plop you there right to turn you over uh, so more yellow than red this time uh, so where's some areas here they are 
There you go. And just dab it on in there. Now we've got quite a good shade here. Where is it? Uh, Drucci Violet, so we're going to try some of that. Yeah, that looks purple to me, to be fair. So I don't know what, what the big fuss is. Um, oh God, we've only got one brush. Well, we've got two, but I'm not using a layer brush on this stuff. It would just destroy it. decide what we're doing with these windscreens because we haven't done those yet because you can't just have black on black you've got to have something different um, uh, I don't want to do the orange windscreen I want to do um, oh goodness me uh, silver when in doubt just go silver so let's get a bit of this lead belt chair I think we can pass that. Oh, I'm not sure. It doesn't look very good. Oh dear. Let's do a few more streaky, stripy bits on here. Oh no. Oh, that looks. Oh no. Should have done it this way. Okay. All right. Never mind. Let's uh, do a bit more orange. Why is this so difficult? You'd never, you'd never thought this could be so difficult. Um, think, 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 think. I need the big think. So, uh, ooh, those wheels on the side aren't very good. Uh, let's just leave them black. Let's just do a bit more black on them and recover them. Oh god, I don't care about my phone number. This isn't my phone. Go away. There we go. Uh, black, black, black. Let's start by not going down here, let's start up here, so, oh come on, go away, notifications. It's like, oh, it's the same old news, oh no, it's far too thick. Oh no, oh, just scratch it off a bit. All right, let's move on um, over here a bit. got to wash my brush because otherwise it's going to be ruined. I don't particularly want to ruin a brush just for this challenge. So all I've lost there is time because of notifications. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> all right, let's try painting some of these little areas here. Really do of doing some detail work now. Let's make R2D2 white. Sorry, 
I'm never going to say it. I'm never going to say R2D20 because it doesn't roll off the tongue. R2D2 does. Let's use some of this. I've got nine minutes left. What do I need to do in nine minutes? Um, oh, tell you what I could do. I could do a little bit of a white highlight on the energy areas. That would look good. So let's just get a little bit down this window. Don't want too much. Say highlight. It's more like a detail paint at this point. I was going to do a burnt effect on the energy cannon itself. So I've not used half these paints, like the gold, no time for that. Um, like that's, yeah, that's not going to be used. I thought I might, but I think I overestimated how long 40 minutes was <laughs> compared to when I first sat down and started painting. Ah, oh, this is not, no, that's not good. Um, I need... So we've got to be careful. We don't really want it going inside, but we can't help it if it does. That's, well, there you go. It's really been firing recently. Um, a very controlled wash of null oil into R2 there. Oh, we're getting to the bit where I have to do some graffiti. Um, so yeah, let's do that now. So graffiti, words for slime. Um, The original plan was to do a whole mix of different colours to do the graffiti, but because of how limited time is, I might just do white <laughs> and hope that's enough. Um, so, because uh, um, we can also use it to cover over bits that I'm not particularly happy with. So maybe. <laughs> As long as you can kind of identify that it's roughly a skull, that's what matters. So I'll just go over that a little. Um, maybe something along here, like like Miyazaki sucks, <laughs> and that would be good. Um, oh god, there's there's no there's no time to write Miyazaki Ram time. Maybe let's do that. Like a play on words almost of Ramstein. Ah uh, yes, and uh, because it's graffiti, you got to get some of the drippy drip lines. So let's just put some of those on here. Just so it looks a little bit authentic. Oh, poo. Oh, de oh no. Should have just left it. Alright. Okay, so finally, although it does live in super clean, polished land, it does need to get a bit dry brushed slash messed up. So, uh, what we need is brown. Come on. Oh boy, heart's racing now because there's only like a minute left. Okay, we'll just mix that up. Da, 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 da. Just flip this over. So just like really roughly, just all over. 
Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to go on the model. Because that's what matters. I don't know why there's a little white bit there, but we need to get rid of that. So let's just cover that up in brown. Not enough. Cover it up in brown. There you go. Oh boy, it's not looking good. The wheel's looking bad. And then, last few seconds, let's get some, say, dry brush. Let's get some beige on there. Is all wet now, so that's not good. Super fast. Four seconds, three. Two, one, and done! Oh baby, a triple. Okay, alright, so... 40 minute paint challenge with violet and orange. So that was the 40 minute paint challenge with violet and orange. Well, what can I say, that was uh, stressful. <laughs> um, I think time management was the key there, and I don't know, I think I did all right. It's it's certainly something I'd feel comfortable putting on the table, but there are certainly a lot of areas that need touching up and reworking, and I don't think the orange as a secondary colour was prominent enough. You can certainly see the violet, but it definitely needs more orange to really hammer that home, but I'm happy with it. And uh, as always, comment down below if you think you could do better, or... You know, if you think I did a really rubbish job or if you think I did great, you know, I, I like to hear from you guys. And um, and by all means, keep emailing me as well. I, I love seeing your cars. I've had some great, great pictures sent to me over the last few weeks. So I'll have them here at the end of the video. So always, always keep building, keep painting, keep enjoying the hobby because that's what this is all about. So uh, thanks again for, for watching this video, and thanks for putting up with the sound quality. I, I know it was really bad. It was something that happened during recording. I couldn't stop and fix it, so I'm sorry. But I've managed to do what I can in, in post. Um, and I will see you all in the next video, Wasteland. Thank you, and goodbye. And as always, thank you to our sponsor, Camsel Designs. I actually record a different sound clip at the end of each of these videos, if you didn't know. Um, but thank you for 10% off if you use the code JHMiniatures when you check out using that code on their website for 3D printed goodness. Like I say, you know, I couldn't make these videos without them because there's a lot of good bits that they sent me. And a 10% code, that's, that's pretty good. You should check that out. Thank you guys, and goodbye. <coughs> oh boy. Why do I always do this to myself, babe? What? Because you're a pleb. Because I'm a pleb. Alright, it's good to know. <laughs>